All right, so it's end of May. Um, I know the deer have been putting on a lot of bones, so it's time to put the uh, critter lick out, get the trail cam set up. And uh, what I'm gonna do is just give you guys a basic rundown of how I do it um, for scouting. And this is a camera that I've put up the last three, four years. I've got some great pictures off of it. Um, I'm not gonna use a new place because I know these trails are just used over and over and over again by bucks. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, as you can see, sitting on a pretty pretty good trail way up here in the high country we're at about 9800 feet what I'm gonna do is got to find a, a tree that's going to be a good place to anchor your camera and then you also need a spot where you can get a lot of bait down so first thing we're gonna do is level this out get a lot of the rocks and dirt and flatten it it's kind of caved in since the winter want to get a nice level shelf and I like to put it up the hill a little bit too just because the rain will kind of push it down so it's going perfect. Okay so these are the critter lick packs they're four pounders. What you want to do is you make a circle basically around where you want the, the bait to be and you just kind of spread into the dirt. There's a lot of techniques so the bottom line is you just got to get a nice you know inch inch thick uh, depth spread around. Um, I probably do overkill but there's a lot of feet up here so I want to focus on areas I want to get them here, so I'm going to use two or three bags on this little patch, um, and then uh, obviously they've been here before, so I think they'll find it pretty quick. But that's all it is, just a critter lick four pounder, and I'm going to do three of them on this bait. This is my first time, and then I will check it every two weeks and refresh it. Keep putting a, another bag every two weeks on it just to keep it up. And remember, this is going to supplement their horn growth. It's going to supplement, obviously, get them feeding in front of your cameras. So it's fun to watch them grow and progress, but at the same time, you're, you're going to actually supplement their nutrition and help them get pack on a little more bone. So. Okay, you want to mix the the main portion of it into the soil, just kind of incorporate it into the ground so it doesn't wash away. And a lot of the outside stuff may, but you're going to have a nice pot in the middle, so this will get them in, that's for sure. Okay, when you set your camera up, make sure obviously there's nothing obstructing it. This is my tree I've always used, but some branches have grown and we're about 15 feet away from our bait so you can just make sure you eyeball the lens and just get an idea um, as far as you know I know this camera is going to want to sit but you know you might want to prop it up or down or left or right just to make sure that it's targeting right at your thing and remember you're you're not shooting at the ground you're shooting where the deer's heads will be so three three to four feet above the ground so it sounds obvious, but I'm just, you know, you're going to hike all the way back here. You might as well set your camera up right and not have to miss out on two weeks of pictures because that's the whole point of doing this to begin with. So I'll get this set up and then we'll be ready to rip. All right, so just to prop it up, get a better angle, you can jam a stick in the back like that. Be surprised how well it'll hold. Give you, you know, you can just adjust it pretty easily. Good. Yes, sir. Dad and Method in the building.